When it comes to network and security, intrusion detection is a very important topic. In this short video, we're going to learn some concepts, some important concepts of intrusion detection and prevention systems. The intrusion detection and prevention systems or IDPS is any device. It can be hardware or software that has the ability to detect attacks. These attacks can be both known and unknown and prevent the attack from being successful. One way to categorize IDPS is by its position on the network and how that position affects its activities. The three different options of IDPS are network-based IDPS, host-based IDPS, and hybrid IDPS. In this instructional video, we're going to concentrate on network-based IDPS. A network-based IDPS monitors traffic at selected points on a network or interconnected setup networks. The network-based IDPS examines the traffic packet by packet in real time or close to real time to attempt to detect intrusion patterns. A typical network-based facility includes a number of sensors to monitor packet traffic. These sensors can be deployed in one of two modes, inline sensors and passive sensors. Network based IDPS sensors are commonly installed behind the firewall and before the local area network, between the firewall and the DMZ or on any network segment. An inline sensor is inserted into a network segment so that the traffic that is monitoring must pass through the sensor. This type of sensor is used to stop attacks from blocking network traffic and is usually placed where firewalls and other security devices are positioned, like between network segments or at connection to external networks. The downside of inline sensor is the potential to create a traffic bottleneck if the sensor becomes overloaded. To avoid this problem, the sensor can be positioned on the more secure side of the network, like for example, behind the firewall, so that it has less traffic to process. The other place where the sensor can be positioned is on the less secure side to protect and lessen the load on the device that divides the network, like a router. A passive sensor is deployed so that it monitors a copy of the actual network traffic. No traffic actually passes through the sensor. Passive sensors are typically deployed so that they can monitor key network location, such as division between networks and key network segments. Since passive techniques monitor a copy of the traffic, they typically provide no reliable way for a sensor to stop the traffic from reaching its destination. In some cases, a passive sensor can place packets onto a network to attempt to interrupt a connection, but those methods are generally less effective than inline methods. Passive sensors can monitor traffic through various methods. Spanning port is one of the methods that passive sensor uses. Many switches have a spanning port 
which is a port that can see all network traffic going through the switch. Connecting a sensor to a spanning port can allow it to monitor traffic going to and from many hosts. Although this monitoring method is relatively easy and inexpensive, it can also be problematic. If a switch is configured or reconfigured incorrectly, the spanning port may not be able to see all the traffic. Another problem with the spanning port is that their use can be re resource intensive. When a switch is under heavy load, its spanning ports may not be able to see all traffic or spanning may be temporarily disabled. Another method is network tap. A network tap is a direct connection between a sensor and the physical network media itself, like for example a fiber optic cable. The tap provides the sensor with a copy of all network traffic being carried by the media. Installing a tap generally involves some network's downtime and problems with a tap could cause additional downtime. The other method used by passive sensors is IDPS load balancer. An IDPS load balancer is a device that aggregates and directs network traffic to monitoring systems, including IDPS sensors. A load balancer can receive copies of network traffic from one or more spanning ports or network taps and aggregate traffic from different networks. The load balancer then distributes copies of the traffic to one or more listening devices, including IDPS sensors, based on a set of rules configured by an administrator. The rules tell the load balancer which types of traffic to provide to each listening device.